In the 30 years since LifeSource began helping facilitate organ and tissue transplants in Minnesota, nearly every advancement has been about buying time. We have restrictions of, of just a few hours from the time the donor donates organs until we can get them into the recipient. Which is why CEO Susan Gunderson is so excited to see the multi-million dollar investment happening just a few miles away at the University of Minnesota. What we're really trying to do is to stop biological time. John Bischoff is the director of the U of M's Institute for Engineering in Medicine, which has just launched a new organ and tissue preservation center with the goal of using sub-zero cryogenic storage to create a human organ bank. And what we're trying to do is to put these tissues and organs into a glass. So we basically add these biological uh, antifreeze molecules and then we lower the temperature in such a way that we don't crystallize and you're uh, able to preserve that biological system essentially indefinitely. I'd imagine it's one thing to freeze it. It's another thing to thaw it out and, and make it work again. Is that where this research comes in? Absolutely. Bringing back these bulk systems that are in a glassy state, bringing them back has been a problem. Just like an ice cube dropped in a glass of water, if a frozen organ is reheated too quickly and unevenly, it could crack or damage. And that's where iron oxide nanoparticles come in. Without touching the organ, we can have a radio frequency field that basically activates those nanoparticles and then uniformly and rapidly returns the organ or the tissue from this glassy state without cracking. The process has already worked successfully on insect and fish embryos, but the U of M is now working with LifeSource to see if it will translate to human organs. What this research will do is help us fight the enemy of time. I'm incredibly excited about it. It's breakthrough science, it's innovation. It's once in the country, then once in the world that this help work is happening, and it's happening right here in Minnesota. Now one question people might have is, is this research gonna be taking away from those that are waiting for organs? No. The, the opportunity for transplantation is always the highest priority. So if the individual's organs are suitable for transplant, we must and we will find a patient and save their life. But so in so many situations, if transplant's not possible, research is possible. And that could help countless people buy more time. When people donate, they can help someone with the gift of life right now. They also can know there's a hope that they can help people in the future. If this research succeeds and human organ banks become a reality, the researchers say it could also give doctors the chance to induce tolerance prior to implanting the organ so that recipients might not even need to take drugs over many months or years after that transplant. We'll be right back.